Okay, example number two. A spaceship of mass 9,000 kg travels from the Earth to the Moon along the line that passes through the Earth's center. So the average distance separating this Earth, the Earth and the Moon is 384,000 km. We have to determine the distance of the spaceship from the Earth at which the gravitational force due to Earth is twice the magnitude of the gravitational force due to the moon right so now let's extract the information so we have the this information here and then it says that the uh the distance between the earth and the moon is equal to three three eight four thousand kilometer so this is basically 3.84 times 10 to the power of 8 meter. Okay, so that is the distance that separates this moon and earth. Lepas tu, dia bagi tahu kita the gravitational force um, due to the earth. So this is earth is twice the magnitude of the gravitational force due to the moon. Okay, so dua kali the force moon okay all right so now let's try and draw the diagram okay so we have moon and then we have the earth color line moon and then earth Adui. okay so it's okay later uh we have to so this is the spaceship lah. Okay. So that is the spaceship. The other spaceship kan dia cakap it travels from earth along the line sama the other satu line yang sama. So if we no I don't think I have to draw uh black lah. Okay. So we have a distance of this is is Okay, lepas tu ada distance here to the center. Center, okay? Center to center ni. Okay? So, at this spaceship, this is spaceship pa yang ini ni. Itu adalah spaceship. We have to draw the force lah. Okay? So, the gravitational force due to Earth on the spaceship. Okay? On the spaceship. Kita tengok the spaceship. The... the this is the moon. This is the earth. So let's draw the arrow. So this is the gravitational force due to the earth. Lepas tu, this is for the moon. Okay, so this is force uh, by the earth on the spaceship. This is force by the moon on the spaceship. Okay, boleh faham lah yang ini. Okay, lepas tu yang ini adalah distance x. And then, this whole length here is the distance between moon dengan earth. Okay, so REM. So, how to find this distance is just REM minus x. Okay? Okay, boleh lah? So, from here, we know that this is the gravitational force by the Earth on the spaceship, by the Moon on the spaceship. Okay? So, kita just boleh write G, M, Earth, mass of the set spaceship over the distance. Distance between the Earth dengan the spaceship, which is X. Okay? So, kita letak x square Lepas tu, this one equal to twice g mass of the moon mass of the satellite over dengan ini, sebab dia minta distance from the spaceship to the moon which is rem minus x lah, ok, so r minus x square lepas square Jangan lupa suku. Okay. Boleh faham yang ini. Lepas tu, kamu rearrange 
x square rem minus x make sure you don't do any callous mistakes time rearranging over m to m moon okay yung ini boleh hilang ni mass of the satellite ni boleh potong ini pun boleh potong so kita are left with that saja so from here uh, you should get the value of x to be equal to 3.32 times 10 to the power of 8 meter okay so what I'm what I'm what I did here is firstly extract the information lah pas to make sure yang kamu understand dia cakap the gravitational force due to the earth yang on the spaceship ni sekarang kita focus is on the spaceship okay so the spaceship to the earth lepas tu the spaceship to the moon okay it's not to the earth dengan to the moon saja no we are looking at the spaceship okay so dia cakap the gravitational force due to the earth is twice the magnitude of the gravitational force due to the moon so that's why kita come up with this equation here okay after that we have to determine the distance the distance between the earth uh, i mean between the earth here and then the spaceship okay so that one we can just label as x kamu mau tulis y pun boleh z pun boleh okay but we have to understand yang uh we have to understand the distance it how we find the distance is by looking at this diagram here lah. Okay? Uh, that's basically it. That's basically the physics of it. This is just basically maths lah. Okay? Right. So that is example number 2.